Aloha and mabuhai. Welcome to another edition of Think Tech Hawaii, Hawaii here on Pinoy Power Hawaii. We want to thank the wonderful, wonderful staff of Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to come into your home. Today, we feature a very special, uh, wonderful uh, servant of the Lord. They will add to our empowerment. Our subject for today, people need the Lord. And to do just that is Pastor Evangeline Gitap and also Pastor Roger Rafanan. We want to welcome you to Pinoy Power Hawaii. Thank you so much for being here, uh, Pastor Roger and Pastora Evangeline. Uh, yes. It's a great topic for us to discuss. So yes, be Sister Amy. Before mm -hmm. we start, could you tell us a little bit about uh, you? And we'll start with uh, Pastor Vanji. Uh, aloha and uh, welcome uh, each and every one of you who are watching right now. And uh, I am Sister Vanji Gitap from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Came to Hawaii in 1999 and I started uh, working as a certified nursing assistant and then as an educational assistant and now a special education teacher at Farrington High School mm -hmm. and uh, at the same time the associate pastor of the Way of Salvation Church. I was uh, been born again in 1986 mm -hmm. in the Philippines at the Way of Salvation Church, mm -hmm. Palpalikong. Atak Ilocos Norte, Philippines. Wow, no shed low nine than Geniti Estoria, Pastor of Angie. Uh, it's a mission of serving the Lord. Uh, Pastor uh, Roger, tell us about yourself. Okay, uh, <clears throat> uh, I came to Hawaii in the late 1980, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm working as a uh, construction engineer. Construction engineer, I received the Lord in nine. In 70, uh, 1970, mm -hmm. that was uh, about 10 years uh, earlier than Pastor Banji. Mm -hmm. And from there, uh, from that time, I never stopped serving the Lord. And uh, I've been associated with the Way of Salvation Church since I was converted. So I'm one of the associate pastor at the Way of Salvation Church also. Wow, mm -hmm. wonderful, inspiring stories of uh, serving the Lord. Yeah. And it goes in line with our topic for today, why people yes, need Amy. the Lord. Right. And um, if uh, I may ask, let's transition into our topic. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we uh, share the gospel with others? Uh, Sister Emmy, you know, when I was born again in year 1986, mm -hmm. I don't really understand how to share the Word of God. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I get deeper into the Word, I was convicted that uh, really everyone needs the Lord. Yes. Because in the beginning, uh, there's nothing but God made everything because uh, of His power. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, if you look at our situation now, and uh, it's been, we are living in chaos because of what's going on mm -hmm. in the world now, and there's nothing that can stop this negative things that's going on right now except the power of God. Mm -hmm. So I do believe that God has the power to end everything that's not pleasing in his sight. That's why we need to declare this afternoon that people need the Lord. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Yes, uh, I totally agree. <laughs> I'm listening to uh, the uh, words of inspiration that you're saying. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Roger, and how do you feel? The, yes, well, uh, the uh, one most important thing that we have to... Uh, to uh, explain today is that word faith. Mm -hmm. It's been a uh, a word since the start of Christianity, faith. But uh, we need to help people understand what's faith, because uh, without faith, the Bible says, 
without faith it is impossible to, to please, please God, God. Mm -hmm. because yeah. everyone that goes to God must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so mm -hmm. what is faith that would be our topic mm -hmm. this afternoon yeah so in our language important la unay iti daytay pamati tayo iti apo uh -huh. yes, so sister. for those that do not have the faith pastor avenge and pastor roger how do we convince them to start believing that there is a greater power that's why uh, we need to let them know yeah. the name Jesus mm -hmm. because that name Jesus is very powerful mm -hmm. he can move mountain he can heal you when you are sick mm -hmm. he can provide your need when you are in need mm -hmm. he is our everything that's why we need to focus on that faith, faith yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah because that faith is a substance of things hope for yeah mm -hmm. madite pa nakita but patienta yo nga at the jaws mm -hmm. nga nang nang runa nga tumulong kada tayo iti tiempo nga at the tayo iti kangitingitan iti panagbiag mm -hmm. but we need him daily right mm -hmm. we cannot see but we believe that mm -hmm. there is god mm -hmm. so we need to let people know that uh in the Proceeding verses that we are going to discuss, mm -hmm. Sister Emmy, will prove that there is God. Right. Okay. So yeah. we need to build the foundation yeah. that mm -hmm. is faith. Yeah. Foundation. Okay. The foundation is to uh, help develop, develop our maybe testimonies. That's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. That's true because uh, actually the word faith came, uh, came from the word uh, hypostasis. It's a Greek word mm -hmm. called uh, hypostasis. Uh, literally, it means uh, standing uh, under. It's a foundation. I remember when mm -hmm. they built this uh, uh, first Hawaiian center in uh, 1993. Mm -hmm. It's a 30-story fl uh, floor building around Is here. Is that high? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, they poured like about 3,000 cubic yard of concrete mm -hmm. to lay the foundation. If you see the building right now, you don't... You don't know, you cannot see the foundation, mm -hmm. right? But I saw it literally. They poured 3,000 yards of foundation, but you cannot see the foundation. But so it's there. It's there. Mm -hmm. So this foundation or this substance is something hidden that is supporting mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. other parts of faith because faith is past, present, and future, and mm -hmm. we will discuss that one later on. Mm -hmm. It's a foundation. But it's important to have that solid foundation, foundation. Yes. <laughs> yeah. which is the basis of mm -hmm. all Building. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. uh -huh. Okay, I'm glad that you mentioned that because as an engineer, right, right. it's really, really important <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. how things are structured, how things are built. Yes. yes. That's the same goes with mm -hmm. our faith. Faith, building. right. Mm -hmm. Because without faith, actually, uh, you cannot build, you will never build something. Mm -hmm. So... And actually, it says also in Romans that uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing, the, and word hearing the word of God. So, knowledge is the foundation of faith. Mm -hmm. You cannot have faith without knowledge. Mm. So, you yeah. have to have knowledge first before you build on your faith. You can build on that faith. And, yeah. the, and that knowledge, because faith is a, is a trust and knowledge because you cannot have faith without first knowledge yeah? mm -hmm. so important if i may yeah. use that word is That's to right. uh, search we ponder search the scripture it mm -hmm. says there in second timothy 3 16. right right mm -hmm. yeah so along with that second timothy 3 16 mm -hmm. is uh, very important for us to understand that the word of god is all we need 316 it says there sister mm -hmm. emmy all scripture is given by inspiration of god mm -hmm. and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness mm -hmm. so nalawag nga talaga nga deto yung um, deto yung saon ni apu dios iso ti foundation yeah foundation, foundation. iso ti mangtud kada tayo ti inspiration na 
na si Sita Unay nga maamuan tayo iti doktrina, mm -hmm. iti sa ni Apo Diyos, ta iso iti mangkurihir, kadag iti mading ar aramid tayo, mm -hmm. iso mangisuro kada tayo nga aglintag tidalan mm -hmm. na. Yeah. Straight and narrow path yeah. uh, that we are often referred to. So, after we do our searching, uh, it is also important to ponder that yeah. they, uh, uh, panonoten tayo yeah, ponder no anya iti paki yeah. apply na okay. iti biag tayo, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. in this connection, let me read to you Hebrews 1, I mean 11, chapter 3, mm -hmm. by faith, that means believe in God, mm -hmm. we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so we will be singing to you the word in the, the song in, in the, the beginning. beginning. I think you will. Do you join remember us. that, Sister Amy? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think I can. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember. remember. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Because in Genesis chapter, uh, God said that's mm -hmm. all. That, that that all He said in Genesis chapter uh, in the one. In the beginning, mm -hmm. God said, yeah. "Let there be light." And there mm -hmm. was light. Verse six. God said, "Let there be firmament," mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there was firmament. Mm -hmm. And God said, "Let there be water." Verse mm -hmm. nine, eleven. God said, "Let the earth bring forth grass," and there mm -hmm. was grass. Mm -hmm. Then God said, "Let there be light," and then twenty. God said, "Let the waters abound." Mm -hmm. Then twenty-four. Let the earth bring forth living creature, and then twenty-six. God said, "Let us make men." In, in our, our image. own image, mm. so it's according just a word. To our likeness. Yeah. Yes. According to so that's our uh, the beginning or the creation. Yeah. yeah. Creation. Uh -huh. yeah. It's the titalagang yes. foundation. Is foundation. The beginning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if we may. Are we going to sing that song in the beginning? That uh, so that uh, it will impress. Okay. Let's. Uh, <laughs> it's the start. It's the, start, the basis yeah. Yeah, of yeah, okay. our foundation. Okay. Right, yeah. okay. Let's hear it from uh, our uh, pastors. <laughs> In the beginning, the Lord made the earth, the heavens, the hills, and the sea. Then He created the sun and the stars, the land, the birds, the trees. He made. to uh, build our solid foundation Based starting from, from the very, very beginning. Yes. Uh, it is wonderful to hear the precious words of God and uh, that uh, completes our first phase, phase of yes. uh, our show today. We want to thank you for joining us. We will be back with more uh, People Need the Lord with Pastora Evangeline Gitap and Pastor Roger Rafanan here on Pinoy Power Hub. Hello, I'm Dave Stevens, host of the Cyber Underground. This is where we discuss everything that relates to computers that's just going to scare you out of your mind. So come join us every week here on ThinkTechHawaii.com, 1 p.m. 
on Friday afternoons. And then you can go see all our episodes on YouTube. Just look up the Cyber Underground on YouTube. All our shows will show up. And please follow us. We're always giving you current, relevant information to protect you, keeping you safe. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Yukari Kunisue, the host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Japanese talk show on ThinkTech Hawaii. Konnichiwa Hawaii is all Japanese broadcast show. And it's streamed live on ThinkTech at 2 p.m. every other Monday. Thank you so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. I'm Yukari Kunisue. Mahalo. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, and we bring the wonderful words of God through our wonderful servants of God. And today it is a pleasure to have uh, Pastora Evangeline Gitap and Pastor Raja Rafanan. Our show for today, People Need the Lord. Amen. And uh, we had just shared with you the very, very beginning, in the beginning, and uh, thank you for the beautiful music which adds to our empowerment. Yes. Let's continue our discussions, uh, Pastor Avangi and uh, Pastor Roger, uh, 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 about faith and uh, how do we build it. Uh, we have our heroes of faith yes. mm -hmm. in the beginning. Right. Yes. So we need to let people know that with these people of faith, they stand with their faith, mm -hmm. how they live. According to the scriptures, uh, yeah. the scriptures. Mm -hmm. so in um, seven. verse 7, verse seven mm -hmm. let's take a, take a look at Noah. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is according to faith. And, yeah. So, uh, Pastor Roger, can you expound this? <laughs> yes. How, uh, we well, want to hear more about yeah. Noah. Noah, mm -hmm. well, the, the easiest way would be to uh, relate Noah in our island of Oahu. Yes. Yes. We have the Pacific Tsunami uh, Warning Center. Mm -hmm. We have the National Weather Service. Yes. And uh, when we hear those uh, warnings, warnings, we prepare ourselves. What do we do? Our family. Yeah, we By pack our things, you mm -hmm. know. We prepare to prepare too. evacuate to go to mm -hmm. a higher, higher ground. Region. Yes. And this is, uh, we can relate to Noah when God, it says, divinely warned of the things not yet seen. So when the uh, tsunami mm -hmm. uh, warning center tells us we don't have the way yet, right? But we are yeah. given the warning. We are given the warning. Mm -hmm. And that faith drives us to bring our car into higher elevation mm -hmm. because we believe we believe yes yeah uh-huh that uh, this warning comes from a higher power right uh -huh. I, yeah oh. somebody that has the knowledge right mm -hmm. so it is not it's not a uh, mysterious thing mm -hmm. we can relate to noah because we live in a island surrounded of course by water mm -hmm. and there are some True warnings and there are some fake warnings too. Pastor there are a lot Roger. of fake warnings around, uh, Pastor <laughs> Roger. Yeah. But then the same principle, <laughs> mm -hmm. the same yeah. feeling we have. Yeah. By faith, God warned him that there will be a flood. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he prepared himself and his he family. He moved with godly fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what God told him, he did listen to him yeah. and he prepared. He, he listened because prepared of his Prepared an ark yeah. for the mm -hmm. saving of his household. Right by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, mm -hmm. which is according to faith. And so while he was making the ark, mm -hmm. how many years did 120. he... 120. Oh, see, imagine, sister. That's more than a 100, lifetime. 120, yeah. 120 mm -hmm. years. He was so patiently doing the Preparing. ark. Preparing. Yeah, because mm -hmm. God spoke to him mm -hmm. the measurement of the ark. All right. So he did follow it. As an engineer, you can yeah. understand yeah. that, uh, and, Pastor uh, Roger. Mm -hmm. And uh, when people passed him doing that and mm -hmm. he's telling them, they but were they were laughing at him. Yeah. They made fun of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They made fun of mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And, and, and they people today say, make fun of uh, mm -hmm. us that yeah. believe, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sometimes uh, they warn the uh, residents close to the, the beach, right, to the uh, ocean front. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they don't listen, then they will suffer the consequence. 
Mm -hmm. So that's a fake. Because they have been warned. They've been warned. Yes. So it's not something hard. We, if we study this verse, we can relate mm -hmm. to the many uh, tsunami warning that uh, were... True to life. Yeah, true to life. Yes. I love hearing stories. Tell me more. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and another one is the Abraham. faith of... Abraham. Abraham. Okay, can you read right? it, Pastor Benji? In verse 8, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so... And in verse 9, by faith, he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, mm -hmm. dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations whose builder and maker is God. Okay. Mm. So... Uh, uh, if we could, uh, if we would have that Sakada song, it would be nice. But anyway, we know the Sakada, uh -huh. right? Yes. So I, I would com compare Abraham to the Sakada. To the Sakadas. Uh -huh. In December of 1906, I believe. Yes. The uh, first uh, Filipino uh, Sakadas left Port Salumagi mm -hmm. in Kabugao. Yes. Remember that story. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. And what did they have? What did they have when they left the place? They, huh? they, they have a faith that they will yeah. return, return mm -hmm. and, have, and find a greener and, pasture. And a greener pasture right. in right. America. Uh -huh. right. They don't know what yeah. they were yeah. uh, coming to. Right. Yeah. Although America sounds like a great yeah. nation, yeah. a great country. A land of milk and uh -huh. honey, they yes. say. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But little did they know what they were going to find right. in the struggles and trials and tribulations yeah. that they were, they were going to encounter. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so we could relate. The, yeah, the, if you look at the faith of Abraham, Abraham he, he just left, followed. He left. The, he obeyed uh, mm -hmm. what he left God his has family. told him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we salute those uh, sakadas, the sakadas that left their like uh, loved ones and uh, hometown in search for a better greener place. pastures. And their the obedience is called faith. Mm -hmm. That's faith. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. right? What's a great analogy yeah, yeah, yeah. to uh, bring it to life? Yeah. And, and compare. We intend, mm -hmm. we intend to bring this so that uh, ordinary people would understand. You don't have to go to uh -huh. theology, theological yes. school to do that. To yes, understand. yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah. We, uh, when we see the Sakadas, we can relate to Hebrews 11.8, the faith of Abraham to leave his country mm -hmm. and his family. Yeah. Yes. It's by faith that yeah. our yes. Sakadas were able to uh, come and uh, have their start here mm -hmm. in this great country. And uh, although they didn't know what to expect, they came with full belief that mm -hmm. there are greener pastures. That's true. Mm -hmm. So faith is the foundation. So it's a past tense. The foundation is a past tense. Mm -hmm. But in the present tense, it's obedience, yeah. Obedience, obedience to the law, to whatever your conviction is. Mm -hmm. Because if you even if you have the foundation, if you don't obey, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. it will not be a complete faith yeah. or success. Yeah, right. Right. So those uh, go hand in hand. Uh, yes. Uh, the belief, mm -hmm. and yeah. then obedience. The, the obedience, obedience or the the faith to. Uh, uh, carry on, carry on, carry through, and then yes. there is there will also be a future because mm -hmm. you don't end up in the present tense. Faith does not end up in the present tense because yeah. Hebrew eleven one. What does it say, Pastor Benji? It's uh, in Hebrew eleven one. A substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not, not seen. seen. Okay. Evidence is an mupay nga nakita. Right. Uh uh So yeah. when you like us, we are coming here. This is an evidence of our faith. We are proclaiming the word, and that's an evidence of our faith. Mm -hmm. Because we are hoping for a bit better tomorrow, and not only us, but we want to share that hope yeah. also. Yes. So our obedience, what we are doing it now, is, is our the heavenly evidence. hope. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Is that is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's why by faith we understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. Because of faith without work is dead. dead. Mm -hmm. That's why the, the obedience is the evidence of your faith. Mm -hmm. right. It's not mm -hmm. just a mental 
It's not a mental imagination. Yeah, no dikit uh, ti arami tayo Aramid, yeah. iti yes. pakakitaan, right? That's true. Yeah. That's what these people did. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Noah, Noah, he made an ark. Abraham, Abraham. left his home. Mm -hmm. So I love these uh, superheroes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, uh, All were, in Hebrews. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. you know, help to uh, guide right, the followers. Is. Yeah. Or those that uh, believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only that, we want to also encourage the mother in verse 28, Pastor Benji. In verse 28, this is for the mothers, says, the faith of by the mother. Faith, he, Moses, by faith. Verse 28, 23, 23. 23. The faith of Moses is, it says here, by faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents. Because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's command. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... So why uh, did they hit him? Because they want to kill all the uh, two-year-old. The newborn. The newborn right. at that time. Because mm -hmm. it was told that... Uh, the reason for that, Pastor Roger? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, because mm -hmm. the, uh, the Egyptians were worried that the, the, the Jews will grow in population. Mm. So they have to kill all the two-year-old mm -hmm. so that there will be no no, uh, no other descendants. Yeah, no, yeah. no danger for a re rebellion. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. So but, that was the solution. But the mom, uh -huh. but the mom of Moses, he hid him. In Lemangna. In Lemangna. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. And she succeeded. Succeeded. So uh, she is a, a mother, super, uh, super mother. Super mother. Yeah. Because of uh, the things that she's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She did it because she believed that one day the Jews will be able to return uh -huh. to the promised land. Wow. So you are a mother. Mm -hmm. You are a mother. Then what are your thoughts about your children? You do everything. For them to As a succeed. mother, mm -hmm. yeah, we do our best yeah. to protect, right. to guide, to direct, and also to make sure that they have a future. And right? that's faith. According mm -hmm. to the Bible, by faith, the mother of Moses did something to protect her son. Mm -hmm. So wonderful to hear. So um, if, you, if you know the story of that, you will really be blessed. And be encouraged, yeah, encouraged. Yeah. encouraged to yeah. uh, read yeah. our scriptures. All right. Well, you know what, Pastor uh, Roger and Pastor Vanji, our time is up. <laughs> oh, and I is, will oh, invite yeah. you to come back. Uh, tell us uh, real quickly your congregation and how will, will they be able to come and uh, join in and uh, participate? Yes, Sister Emmy. Uh, we have uh, Sunday services. It starts at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and then followed by Sunday school. We learn and teach the Word of God. Mm -hmm. It is divided into different levels like the kids. Yeah, they have uh, different levels. And for the adults, we have English and the Ilocano mm -hmm. class. And in the afternoon, we have divine service. 1.30 in the afternoon till 5 or 5.30. The location is? Yes, where? at the Way of Salvation Church, 1718 Backley Street, Honolulu, Hawaii. We encourage you, mm -hmm. we invite you to come and fellowship with us if you don't have any place to worship, worship. the Lord on Sundays. You can also tune in to our Pinoy Power programs and they are live on Saturdays. Yes, uh -huh. at 2 to 4, the Hour of Salvation program. Mm -hmm. At uh, KPRP 650 Pinoy Power Radio. Right. I want to thank you again. Uh, uh, thank you for joining us. And we invite you again to tune in because I know that uh, Pastor Roger and Pastor Avangi will be back for uh, future episodes of uh, our uh, show of empowerment. So on behalf of uh, our entire team, thank you again. Maraming salamat po. God bless and mabuhay. Mabuhay.